Americans' voices are heard when their ballots are cast. Americans must have confidence that our nation's elections are free and fair. Unfortunately, in recent years, we have witnessed firsthand how a lack of safeguards delay election results, creating uncertainty. Political operatives are abusing the practice of ballot harvesting in many jurisdictions across the country. Mail-in voting has been dramatically expanded without safeguards, hurting the voters' confidence in our election systems. For example, ballots are showing up at wrong or outdated addresses due to inaccurate voter lists. Ballots are even being sent to voters who have died. The primary characteristics of the American voting system should be transparency and certainty, not confusion and doubt. The American people should be confident in our voting processes and confident that their vote counts. And that includes in our nation's capital. That is why we are introducing the ASAC. The ASAC sets forth best practices to ensure a safe, accessible, and secure election system. Our nation's capital, which falls squarely under con Congress's jurisdiction, will adopt these best practices and serve as a model for the rest of the country. The system will require valid identification to vote, prohibit ballot harvesting by unrelated third parties, ensure public access to observe the election process, ensure security of mail-in ballots, prohibit non-U.S. citizens from voting in D.C. elections, and implement other common sense reforms like routine maintenance of official voter rolls. This act also respects the federalist approach to our election system enshrined in the Constitution. Instead of federalizing our electoral system, as our Democrat colleagues tried to do last Congress, this act respects the state to administer its elections in the best way for the voters of that specific state. The reforms of the ASAC will hopefully create a system that other states will look to as a model for a secure election system. Americans need to have faith that their elections are secure, and this legislation works to restore confidence in these systems. I look forward to hearing the testimony of our witnesses and to discussing how this body can legislate common sense reforms to elections in Washington, D.C. that the states can look to as a model for secure and fair elections. 